Congratulations on taking an important step to improving your health and quality of life. As a person with obstructive sleep apnea, you should know that you're among over 20 million Americans who also have this condition. Obstructive sleep apnea is caused by a blockage of the airway, usually when the soft tissue in the back of the throat collapses and closes during sleep. This reduces the supply of oxygen and causes the brain to arouse in order to resume breathing. The result is fragmented, poor quality sleep. Obstructive sleep apnea is a serious condition that, if left untreated, can cause high blood pressure and other cardiovascular diseases, memory problems, weight gain, impotency, and headaches. It can also cause poor job performance and vehicle crashes. You have taken the first step in getting diagnosed. Now, it's time to make a commitment to ongoing treatment and improving your life. To treat your condition, you have been provided a CPAP device and a mask, or alternate interface. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure used to keep your airway open while you sleep. During CPAP treatment, a flow generator pushes air through tubing and an interface at a prescribed pressure. This keeps the airway open. It may take a few nights to get used to breathing on this device. To help you breathe more comfortably, your CPAP, the Polaris EX from Invacare, features patent-pending technology called SoftX. SoftX is an exhalation unloading technology that allows you to exhale comfortably against the stream of continuous air blown into your airway by the CPAP. This video will help you understand the benefits of using your Polaris EX CPAP, how to properly operate and clean the unit, and how to obtain valuable usage information for your home care provider. The second part of this video demonstrates how to use and clean the Invacare Twilight Mask. In addition to viewing this instructional video, please review the operator's manual included with the CPAP. Place the CPAP tubing and mask on a stable, clean, dry surface near a 120-volt electrical outlet. Ensure the Polaris EX is positioned close enough to your bed to allow slack in the tubing and that the air filter intake vent at the rear of the unit is not obstructed. Plug in the CPAP. The software version number will appear on the LCD display for approximately one second. Next, the CPAP will display the CPAP and ramp start pressure set by your home care provider. Then the unit will display standby. When the unit is plugged in but not running, it will be in standby mode. Leave it in standby mode when not in use. Connect one end of the air tubing to the Polaris EX CPAP air outlet. Secure the mask with headgear to your face and adjust as needed to ensure a comfortable yet secure fit. Press the blue Invacare or Enter button to start the CPAP. Connect the air tubing to the mask and begin therapy. To stop therapy, press the Enter button. If you're using the therapy delay or ramp feature and it is currently active, press the enter button twice to stop therapy. Your physician may have prescribed a gradual buildup of air pressure while falling asleep or ramp. Your home care provider will have set the ramp feature on the CPAP for 5, 10, 20 or 30 minutes. You can adjust this to the time frame that is most comfortable for you. To adjust ramp, while in standby mode, press and hold the up button for approximately four seconds. Press the up button again to select user settings. Press the Invacare or enter button until ramp time is displayed. Press the up or down arrow until the desired ramp time appears. Press the enter button to save the new setting. Continue to press the Enter button to scroll through the other menu items. Press the Up button to confirm any changes that have been made. SoftX is a patent-pending technology that makes breathing with CPAP easier and more comfortable. You can select from three SoftX settings to find what is most comfortable for you. To change the SoftX setting, while in standby mode, press the Up button for approximately four seconds. Press the up button again to select user settings. Press the enter button until SoftX is displayed. Press the up or down button to scroll through the available SoftX settings. Minimum, mid-range, maximum or standard CPAP. SoftX 
is off with this setting. Press the Enter button to accept the new SoftX setting. Press the Up button to confirm any changes that have been made. If you require supplemental oxygen, you'll need to connect your CPAP to your oxygen source. Take special care to ensure that the flow of oxygen is off when the CPAP is not operating. To connect the CPAP to the oxygen source, first make sure the oxygen supply is off. Connect the oxygen adapter to the CPAP air outlet. Connect the CPAP hose to the oxygen adapter. Connect the oxygen tubing to the oxygen adapter. Connect the oxygen tubing to the oxygen source. Press the Enter button to start the blower. Turn on the oxygen source supply to the setting prescribed by your physician. Always turn on the CPAP first, then turn on the oxygen source. After each use, disconnect the air tubing from the CPAP and hang the tubing in a clean, dry location until the next use. Clean the exterior of the CPAP whenever necessary with a clean, damp cloth and mild dishwashing detergent. The reusable air filter should be cleaned at least once per month. Remove the air filter from the rear of the CPAP by pulling it directly out of the air filter slot. Wash the filter with a mild soap and water solution. Rinse thoroughly and allow to dry completely before use. Gently insert the dry filter into the air filter slot and tuck the edges into place. Your home care provider or physician may want to periodically track your CPAP usage or compliance. The CPAP summarizes your daily usage into a nine-digit code. Here's how to obtain the quick code. While in standby mode, press and hold the up button for approximately four seconds. Then press and hold the down button to access the quick code. Relay the nine-digit code exactly as it appears on the screen to your home care provider. Your physician may have prescribed the use of heated humidity to prevent dryness of your nose, mouth, and throat. If you have not been prescribed a humidifier and you experience sore or dry throat, nasal congestion, runny nose, or nosebleeds, contact your clinician. The humidifier base plate has a temperature range from 70 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit with a default setting of 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature is adjustable to maximize your comfort. Before you use the humidifier for the first time, remove the humidifier water reservoir from the CPAP by sliding it away from the humidifier. Unscrew the cap and rinse thoroughly. When you're ready to use the humidifier, fill the water reservoir to the fill line. The use of distilled water is highly recommended so that mineral deposits do not form inside the water reservoir. Replace the reservoir cap. Reattach the water reservoir to the humidifier by pushing down and in. Connect the air tubing to the reservoir outlet on the reservoir cap. You can preheat the water for up to 20 minutes before going to bed. As a safety feature, the heater will turn itself off if the CPAP is not turned on within 20 minutes. To preheat the water, press the humidifier button on the control panel. The word heat will appear on the LCD. To adjust the temperature, press and hold the humidifier button for approximately four seconds until bars